Good evening. My name is Scott DiMartino, and I'm president of the DC Preservation League's Board of Trustees. As always, we are proud to host this event, and we thank each of you for making time to be here to celebrate the artistry, the commitment, and dedication of all of our honorees. At DCPL, we expend a tremendous amount of energy advocating for properties that suffer from owner neglect. Years of deferred maintenance can cause catastrophic conditions for a building, so DCPL is always appreciative of owners who make the effort to monitor the conditions of their properties and surround themselves with knowledgeable consultants who can advise them on preservation best practices. I am pleased to present the 2020 District of Columbia Award for Excellence in Historic Preservation for Stewardship to the Phillips Collection. It has been 40 years since the Phillips Collection Building underwent a major renovation of its mechanical, electrical, and plumbing systems to meet modern-day environmental standards. The systems needed to be modernized in order to protect the precious collection of artwork in the 60,000 square foot space. The systems were ancient, uh, and in fact, they were kind of museum quality. I mean, there were really some interesting control systems up in the, in the uh, top story that, that were worth saving. <laughs> because they're so completely different from anything of our era. In 1921, Duncan Phillips and his mother founded the museum as the Phillips Memorial Gallery. The family used its former residence at Q Street and Massachusetts Avenue as a repository for the collection. The house, built in 1897, was originally a three-story Georgian Revival townhome. Over the years, above and below grade additions were added to create the current complex. It's a wonderful building, of course, the great original house for the Phillips family and where the, uh, where the original gallery had been added, uh, the, the studio space on the top floor, uh, all wonderful spaces. What had happened over the years was that the, that the uh, uses of the building had overfilled the building. The new systems needed to be installed in the original mansion portion of the complex. In order to adequately incorporate the systems, 3D modeling was utilized to determine the placement. The addition of a rooftop penthouse would house the new systems for the museum, and the fourth floor would be reconfigured to allow additional offices. So the concept really was to, to uh, move all the mechanicals up to a new structure above the existing roof, uh, which would allow that top floor to become good usable program space, and also provide new and contemporary uh, mechanical systems throughout the building. The new penthouse is set back from the face of the building and is clad with large hand-cut patined copper shingles, cornice, and trim. The penthouse also screens an enormous chiller, which is part of the new mechanical system. Below the new mansard roof, the original flat portion was lowered four feet to create an additional floor for the museum. This was done by shoring the perimeter walls and reinforcing the floor with structural steel. The $7.4 million project was completed within one year, in time for the Phillips Collection's annual gala, the largest fundraiser for the organization. The uh, systems that uh, are installed there are probably twice in terms of, of uh, their sophistication what normal uh, heating and air conditioning systems would be. Uh, because of the nature of the building and, and uh, how it has to function. With the new systems in place, complete with fully digitized temperature and humidity controls, the Phillips Collection's historic building will be a protected space for its art collection well into the future. <laughs>